Welcome. Have a seat. Oh, don't worry about the couch. It has no lice. <laughs> the lice dwell in the folds of my testicles. It is their El Dorado. And yes, I do have enough meat for all three of us. We can have a nice, cozy dinner. Oh. Oh, that's it. Step right up and see the twisted Colin in his apartment of freaks. Is that it, eh? Oh, it is true. I do have appreciation for dark things. I have seen things that would have you puking for decades. Oh, could I have the pipe, please? Nice opium. But surely a glimpse at the face of the great god Pan is worth the price of addiction. De Quincey wrote that the opium eater's moral affections are in a state of cloudless serenity. The divine part of one's nature becomes paramount. You should keep smoking it to really feel it. Here. Help yourself. I was just going to show you this amazing book I found. Been looking for it for years. It proves that, well, see for yourselves. Now take a look at this one here. A goddamn Cyclops! And where was God when he was conceived? Oh, poor bastard. I can't even dream of things like this. This book has more truth in it than a billion Bibles. <laughs> but then, why would anyone want to vomit forth a twitching shrimp from betwixt a rip slit in their thighs? Most infants are errors anyway, the results of too much prayer, too much drink, or a rend in the rubber. 
Why force a doomed little person to spend a miserable and ignorant childhood doing all the things you wish you had done, preparing it for a shameful, repugnant life of despair and ennui? Why, look at the way you are dressed. The days of style are dead. You are monuments to mediocrity, vagueness, and bodily function. I don't like doing this any more than you. But there are certain obligations I have. Agreements, leases, tracks, experiments. All of it will pay off one day when I am finished taking notes. Why, why, why are you doing this? You know, that's a very good question. I've asked myself that why. Just today, when I killed the girl we ate, I was wondering, why cause pain to people? But these are not people. I dream of every unworthy dolt on the globe reduced back to the quivering sperm from which they began. The streets of the world would be slick with our stuff. Only a handful of truly worthy souls would remain, you see. I love the world. Why am I doing this? For power? Perhaps. We all eat the flesh of the gods. We are all cannibals. Going back to the good gods, the ones who can. Remember when it was fun to... Oh, you, you wouldn't remember. Why, why am I doing this? Because, because I am afraid of pain and death. Gotcha! I've nothing but pleasure in my hands But no regard for where you stand Just hold me 
and feel the martyr in my bones. That rattle through these broken streets. There is no time in this life for spontaneity. For the sun falls to its sudden death. And the crepes of age grant few successes. And the luxury machines that bathe us rip us from our limbs. The mother country is out of reach. My house is vacant and lonely. once and found your eyes have died and beheld me no more as I once appeared to you if your ears have deafened to my quivering voice and can no longer pause your heart and my sermons mean nothing as they never have before yet you hear only the plea of one who has suffered you Consider, I don't want to die Until I know why Blood was colored so beautifully Stand in the Not with the dirt over us square But we settle for unity Hope that the men Change in the past We know we have no shame Perhaps in the later years of my life, I truly have gone mad. The sunrise, dependable, as my morning erection, stained with sperm, I reek of life. My voice sounds tired. It's not on the street without my point of view. It's pleading. Pleading to never outgrow our infestations. For that mythical monster, we still swear we saw.
Especially the king of clowns. What's the matter? Gill problems? Kind of. I, I don't want to talk about it right now, Gorgo. Eh, fine, fine. Whatever you say. Hey, you got any booze around? Yeah, yeah. But don't drink it all. Eh, hey, give me that. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> ah, where the hell did you get this rock gut shit? It's all I can afford. Oh, what do you mean? We both get paid the same. You can afford better than this on our salary. Or you're spending all your money on a dame bolo. Or are you a bigger drunk than I thought? I'm not a drunkard. I just got a lot on my mind. Mistakes, a 
sand.